Welcome to the Self-Taught Programmer course. I'm excited to be part of your journey learning to program. Learning to program was one of the best decisions I ever made, and I'm confident it will be one of yours as well. Before you get started, I want to quickly outline what you will learn in this course and give you some tips to ensure that you have the best experience possible. First, let me tell you a little bit about my background. I graduated from college with a political science degree. After struggling to find a job, I decided to learn to program. Eventually, with hard work and a lot of luck, I landed a job as a software engineer at eBay. After working for a few companies in Silicon Valley, I decided to write a book to help other people learn to program. I called my book The Self-Taught Programmer. After I published my book, I wasn't sure what to expect. So I was surprised when it struck a chord and I began to receive emails from people telling me stories about how my book changed their life. I decided to continue my journey helping people learn to program, which led me to create this course. I didn't just create this course for people that want to become professional software engineers. I built it for anyone that wants to learn to program because learning to program will help your career regardless of the industry you are in. Whether you want to use your new skills as an accountant, marketer, entrepreneur, scientist, architect, or software engineer, I created this course for you. I divided it into five parts. The first part is an introduction to programming. The second part is an introduction to programming paradigms, which are styles of programming. The third part teaches you how to use programming tools. The fourth part is an overview of computer science. And the final section goes over how to get and succeed in your first programming job. Each of the five sections could be a standalone course. My goal is not to teach you every detail you need to know. My goal is to give you a roadmap by showing you the core concepts you need to learn to program professionally. By the end of this course, you will know how to program in Python. You will understand object-oriented programming. You will be able to use a variety of programming tools. You will be on your way to being able to pass a technical interview. And you will know what you need to do next to get a job as a software engineer. I also start each section with a story about a successful self-taught programmer to help keep you inspired as you make your way through it. The only thing that can stop you from learning to program is not sticking with it. So I'll wrap up by telling you about a trick Jerry Seinfeld invented when he was crafting his first stand-up comedy routine. First, he hung a calendar up in his room. Then, at the end of each day, if he wrote a joke, he would give himself a green check mark on the calendar for that day. That is the entire trick, and it is incredibly powerful. Once you start a chain of green check marks, you will not want to break it. Two green check marks in a row become five green check marks in a row, then 10, then 20. The longer your chain gets, the harder it will be for you to break it. Imagine it is the end of the month and you're looking at your calendar. You have 29 green check marks. You only need one more for a perfect month. There is no way you won't accomplish your task that day. If you apply this trick to programming, it will help your practice every day, which is all it takes to learn to program successfully. Thanks so much for choosing to take this course. I'm excited to be part of your journey learning to program. Let's get to it.